This morning, Rick Slayman, the first living person to receive a genetically edited pig kidney, is beginning his new life. These photos were taken moments before he was released from Mass General Hospital yesterday. After nearly three weeks of recovery, the 62-year-old is thanking his doctors and nurses, saying this moment, leaving the hospital today with one of the cleanest bills of health I've had in a long time, is one I wished would come for many years. Now it's a reality and one of the happiest moments of my life. We're going to learn a lot with Mr. Slayman. He was brave to go through a procedure where there were so many unknowns. Dr. Leo Riella, who helped perform the four-hour procedure last month, says Slayman is doing well despite some initial complications in the days after the surgery. What he taught us is that it is possible. Slayman was living with end-stage kidney disease and was on dialysis at the time of his operation. The pioneering transplant is now offering hope to nearly 90,000 other kidney patients currently on dialysis. Hopefully then, you know, bring it to clinical practice, bring to all patients that are on the waiting list that don't have a kidney and may have to wait too long. Doctors are now working with the FDA, hoping to begin clinical trials to make this type of transplant possible for even more patients. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.